Welcome everybody to Stocks and Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to create scam queries with TD Ameritrade. These are really powerful tools that allow you to create watch lists that are dynamic. They will add and remove stocks from the list based on what's happening throughout a trading day. So over here on the left, you can see I have three different scam queries going. One is large gains, large losses, and unusual volume. Creating a scan query is pretty simple. You simply add a watch list widget, click on the title here, and then go to create scan query. Once you've done that, this uh, screen will pop up here where you can name your query. So this is large gains, and you can give the parameters you wanna look for. In this case, I have stocks over $10, excluding all over-the-counter stocks so it's only going to show me stuff that is not OTC it's had at least a 5% gain on the day and it's optionable and it has a, a decent amount of option volume at least 1,000 contracts on any given option chain uh, and that's it then I click Save and that becomes my scan query and TD Ameritrade will um, automatically add stocks to this list as they meet that criteria if I want to I can even uh, tell TD Ameritrade to alert me when a symbol is added, removed, or both. Uh, and I can get a sound where it plays a little uh, sound for me. I can have it send an email or a text notification or send push notifications to mobile devices, uh, in, assuming that I've got the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim app on mobile. And that's it. So if I wanted to, to go throughout my day doing what I want, just get alerts to my phone anytime something hit my query, then I can do that. Something that's important about this, and I've verified this with uh, TD Ameritrade, is the query only reruns the scan between every uh, three and 15 minutes. They're not quite sure on, on when it's on the three minute range or when it's on the 15, but it may take some time. So something may hit the query uh, if it runs you know, every 15 minutes and it actually uh, was, it was 10 minutes ago that it actually triggered, but you didn't get alerted till now because uh, the query is not running and updating every single second. It's every three to three to 15 minutes. Uh, large loss is another one I like to run simply because I like to see what's what's dipping big and uh, see if there's anything where I could play a, a dip buy. So same thing, ten dollars. It's lost at least uh, five percent for the day. Volume on options that should be one thousand. This technically should be minus five percent. So I'm gonna edit that right now, minus five, and there we go. Unusual volume is another one I like running. This is just what looks really funky today in terms of volume. So for this, all I do, oops, wrong option here, edit unusual volume, is I say, give me anything that's not an OTC stock. It's between 10 cents and $10. The volume's increased at least 100% from its average over the last 15, and then this point, periods I have days. Uh, the average volume, the 20 period or the 20 day uh, simple moving average of the volume is greater than 1 million. So I don't want something that's a super illiquid stock that not a lot of people are buying. You know, if there's 10 shares bought one day and then 100 the next day, I don't care. It has to have at least a million uh, shares bought in volume. Uh, and then the price change on close for the day is at least a little bit bigger than the day previous so it doesn't have the price change can't have dropped so i don't want to see something that has huge volume because there was a big price drop i want something that saw big volume um, and it could have gained or it could have remained flat and so if i look here we had you know, gnpx today uh, or i can go down here and say is had an interesting volume spike right here uh, but it didn't gain a lot so what's going on here right we've got some big volume spikes happening where people are buying up a bunch of shares but the price isn't moving yet. So that's interesting to me. One of my scans that I like. You can create tons of different scans with all sorts of different parameters. You can uh, make a scan for the golden cross or the death cross or whatever you want. Really powerful tool uh, for day trading or swing trading or position trading. Thank you for tuning into Stocks and Stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day.